Top story, when life and death hangs in the balance, every second counts, but a defender's investigation raising serious questions about how long it takes the Charlotte Fire Department to respond in an emergency. Our team learning of slow response times in almost two dozen pockets of the city. In one case, for example, it took crews eight and a half minutes to get to the scene of a deadly fire. Our Nathan Morbido live at six with what he's learned. Nathan. Well, I'll tell you that eight and a half minute response time is much higher than the industry standard. The goal is to get to nine out of every 10 emergencies within six minutes. But the department's own records show on several sections of town, including where we are right now, Selwyn, firefighters aren't there yet. In front of 95 or two. Just before 3 a.m. on April 28th. I heard all the sirens. A house fire on Northwoods Forest Drive turned deadly. We got to deal with it. Killing this man's brother. To know the details probably would make me feel even worse. We now know those details. City records show it took the fire department more than eight and a half minutes to arrive on scene. You had companies that were going to other incidents. The delay mainly the result of too many calls at the same time in the area and not enough crews to respond forcing the city to call in backups from other sections of town. The neighborhood in question is one of more than 20 parts of Charlotte highlighted in yellow by the fire department. Areas with response times higher than the goal of six minutes. <laughs> Citywide, the department responded to 83% of calls in less than six minutes over a 12-month period. The city wants to get that number to 90%. We're continuously striving to try to change that. Some of the improvements come down to technology. We want to send help to people as quickly as possible. The department now tracks its available crews in real time, pinpointing the best crew to send at any given moment. We will see who is the company that is the closest to that particular incident and assign them. Other improvements come down to resources. The city added a truck at its station on Central Avenue back in June in response to higher demand. CFD is also planning to build a new station on Clanton Road, another area highlighted in yellow. We take very seriously um, at the street level, making sure that we're in the right place at the right time. Charlotte's also looking at ways to avoid the unavoidable traffic delays of a city this size. A trial program could one day change every light in a fire truck's way before it gets to each intersection. Or we're strategically looking at how we can fix problems before they arise. The end goal is to prevent delays like the one here in April. CFD says it's unclear if a faster response would have saved the man's life. There's no way for us to know that for sure, and we do everything we can to prevent that. The city considers itself one of the best in the country when it comes to response times, and it has the ISO rating to prove it a one, the absolute best you can get. And as a result, the people of Charlotte pay lower insurance premiums. Reporting live, Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte. But still work to be done. Nathan, thank you.